Hey, it's Paul here from HatterNetwork.com. Uh, today I've got a really bad cold, so please forgive me if I cough or splutter or I'm not as clear as usual. This is a blog post I wrote a few years ago, and I just happened to see it again today. And uh, I'm changing the way I'm doing things. I'm doing more videos because blogs are a little bit uh, <laughs> passe nowadays. Oops, excuse me. So um, it just reminds me how important this is to have a, a, a quality bookshelf as an IT engineer and this particular blog is if you're a Cisco person obviously if you do Microsoft or cloud or VMware or something you'll have a different set of core books now um, a full disclosure a couple of my books are in here I wrote them because there was nothing on the market uh, that did what I think uh, needed to be done so I'll mention those but it'll be pretty clear uh, but most of them aren't most of them aren't mine uh, the there's links in the description if you want to click and get any of these I'll just give you another heads up that um, a lot of these aren't printed anymore they're still valuable and uh, really valuable but um, they're not um, they're not being printed anymore so you'd have to buy used copies which you can get from Amazon a lot of people resell used copies or eBay so I'm sure you've heard this before. I've written quite a few books myself and have a look at these. Uh, these are all on Amazon if you get time. But we'll skip ahead. Howtonetwork.com is my main website. If you're feeling in the mood for doing some certification or career training, then there's a link at the end and in the description. So uh, smack the subscribe and the bell because I'm going to be producing a lot more of these videos and there's a lot of stuff that's going to be benefit you. So your bookshelf in fact I don't know if this is going to work but you can pan around I've got a ton in my office of business books and uh, IT books uh, and and leadership books because this is the thing I've been focusing my career on but there's tons I can't actually reach them from here of uh, Cisco books I can't actually reach without the um, microphone falling off but um, a few hundred anyway a lot of IT books so I spent thousands building my shelf and I've noticed when my students send in photos of them holding certificates there's books just behind them on, the, on their bookshelf so uh, there's something in common and um, so don't just get study guides get books that go into more details about the technology and the protocols and the services the troubleshooting the design of how things work and this will make you a really good engineer uh, and I'll mention, I'll mention it in a bit also, but just how to troubleshoot. Where do you start? How do you uh, get a plan? And one of the books I'm going to mention has got a flow chart. Brilliant if you're under pressure to have this chart that you can rely on, especially when people are watching your customer or your boss. So we'll start off. This is the book to own for uh, any Cisco engineer, and you probably won't be taken seriously if you don't have it. Routing TCP IP by Jeff Doyle. He actually wrote the foreword for my Cisco CCNA Simplified, so I was really uh, pleased when he agreed to do that. Now, I'm sorry the picture isn't great, but um, it's, I think, out of print, possibly. Now, I'm not sure, but you need to get, you, you must own it if you're a Cisco engineer and um, you want to get the second edition. Now, this is a CCIE level book. However, he covers everything from complete beginner up to what I'd say is expert level and probably beyond what a lot of um, experts I've met actually know. So IP addressing, VLSM with practical examples, TCP IP mechanisms that we need to understand, IPv6. Just double check this because I think IPv6 might be in his second um, volume 2. So we've got second edition of volume 1 and then there's a volume 2 which I'm not sure what edition that has but just uh, double check. Configuration and troubleshooting really important and um, get the second edition of a volume one because that's got the updates in it. CCIE practical studies again don't be put off there's nothing if you're studying for CCNA or just want to learn Cisco don't be put off by the title CCIE because books like this by Carl Soley this guy has just saved a lot of people's careers with his writing style it's just fantastic and he inspired me so fine for beginners it, all the routing stuff switching everything he actually tells you how it works and then you learn how to apply it so all of this stuff which you do need to know this is absolute bread and butter stuff for Cisco people and what he does is you lab it all up at the end you'll probably need to use GNS3 because there's a lot of 
a frame relay and other technologies but um, obviously GNS is free you just need to get your operating system which I won't talk about here uh, he's got a volume 2 which goes into I think BGP IPv6 and a lot of advanced stuff but just get it oh, oh. This is my favorite. CCNA in 60 days. I got the 60 days idea from a fitness book on um, how to uh, achieve a level of fitness through uh, army fitness test. But he also put together stuff for just um, normal people. So I broke down the entire Cisco CCNA syllabus from nothing into an entire 60 day plan. So it was written by a dual CCIE, a CCIE and myself. Every day, if you're busy, the uh, hardest thing is to write down a study plan, know what to study, when to study, and how to test yourself that you know what you're doing. So this is what this does, this whole program. This has been an Amazon bestseller now for, um, I don't know, maybe 10, 10 or so years. So anyway, that's my yearbook. IP Routing Fundamentals, Marque Sportac. Hopefully that's how you pronounce it. Apologies to Mark if that isn't. Great foundation book, and we love foundation knowledge. People skip to the really complicated stuff that you'll use less and less. The foundation stuff is where we need to be. So it covers all the basics of IP routing, IP addressing, routing basics, growing your network, and we need multiple sources. Don't just read my book, read somebody else's and see what they have to say about the same topics because they'll say stuff I don't say. Cisco Field Manual Router Configuration, 2nd Edition, Huckabee and McQuarrie, two CCIEs, and it looks like they passed, looking at their numbers, they passed a long time ago, so they've got a lot of experience. This is the book you take into the field, so it's got loads of commands that you can use, and you wouldn't read it from start to finish, you would probably just dip into it when you're stuck or want to just learn about a particular technology. Again, I don't think this is actually made anymore. Some of the commands may have been updated. Most of them will still be relevant, though. So you're routing VPNs and security. This is a core CCNA topic for 2020. Remember, it's not stuff that um, is a specialist anymore. And I talked about this in my last video about how, why you should be a generalist. Quas, again, is really important. Most books don't talk about it. And it's just been taken out of the syllabus. So you're going to be stuck for places to learn. Cisco certification bridges routers and switches I've put the wrong image down sorry about that but um, just check on Amazon for this um, book or, or click on the link at the bottom in the description it's um, normally I think an orange or gold covered at the front Kaslo and Pavlichenko just a fantastic book and this was the go-to CCIE lab book when it used to be a lot easier now I'd say do it for your CCNA, tr truly, and your CCMP. Ignore some of the older technologies like Frame Relay. You don't obviously have to worry about that. Uh, he does the theory and then the labs, which is, if you've got any of my books, you'll know that's exactly what I do. I'll tell you how it works, and then i show you how it works, and that's how we learn. It's guaranteed the best way to learn. Routing, redistribution, but these are all mini labs. There's not a big multiple technology redistribution stuff with their access lists and everything else. Each one has a, a particular technology. Cisco LAN switching by uh, Kennedy Clark and Kevin Hamilton. The weakest area for every engineer I've met, including when I worked at Cisco TAC, was their switching. They did a little bit, and the CCIE just used to have maybe 5 or 10% of the syllabus, so people didn't know it to a good level. But you mustn't um, fall into that trap. So it is CCIE level, but it's written in a very informal style, so it's very easy to understand. It's, some books are really technical. If you've ever re read the, C the, C oh, the Cisco CCIE um, BGP book, oh my god, hard to read. So trunking STP, how to correctly use layer 3 switching. You can buy these twenty, fifty, hundred thousand dollars $100,000 switches, but if you don't use them correctly, you're actually going to uh, cause problems for yourself and look silly. Enhanced IP services for Cisco networks by Donald C. Lee. How to implement IPsec, uh, I'm sure that sounds handy because it is really handy for us to know as Cisco engineers now and Cisco are saying this for 2020, you need to know this stuff, so best listen to them. Intrusion detection systems, breaks down cryptography, if somebody says oh well how is this working, you can actually turn around and explain to your boss or your customer or whatever. 
solving real world problems this is where the rubber hits the road when you're faced with a problem can you fix it and if you can't then you you better pack your desk and go home radius and tack axe we know all know about it but do you actually understand it and can you explain it last few now uh, troubleshooting ip writing protocols uh you can see the names there there's four ccies i think they're all ccies how to troubleshoot this is where the stress is on yeah when something's broken how to do your plan overcoming uh common writing issues bgp ospf and rip and this is what i mentioned at the start flow charts quickly okay can you remember or can you open the book and say okay i'm going to start here and i'm going to tick off all of these different levels until i get to the answer TAC case study. So these people worked at Cisco TAC and they had to deal with live customer problems and they explain these to you. Really valuable. Okay, and debugging. What debugs to use? CCDA. You're probably asked to, at some point, uh, design a simple small network or small to medium sized network. Cisco are kind of depreciating. It looks like they're introducing it for CCMP level design. But um, for, for CCNA level people, you're going to need to understand how to design a simple network, which is your, um, oh, you'll get more money, less stress, a brilliant job, network design, more opportunities. So could you design the network from the ground up? Your layer two, your layer three, working out your uh, root bridge, where to send your uh, main traffic and your secondary traffic, and what to do if there's an outage, where will your traffic go? Some security, really important, resilience, uh, designing your protocols for maximum efficiency. IPv6, I've been preaching about this for years and people still aren't learning it. Well, you're going to be uh, out of a job if you don't know it. So uh, this is a second edition, Rick Graziazzi. I don't know if he's a CCIE, but he's an IPv6 expert. How IPv6 works. Creating your addressing scheme, again, really important, especially for your routing, your routing tables. How to use dual stack and how to transition, which all networks are doing now. They're using IPv4 and IPv6, and eventually it's going to be IPv6. And finally, probably my favourite book, uh, <laughs> I wrote it. This book's actually about 15 years old now, but I recently updated it. What is it, 2019? So I updated it this year, and it's currently, um, well, it's been number one on Amazon for Kindle for quite a few months now you must know subnetting and yet everyone avoids it you must know subnetting for your job but also for job interviews i had about 45 minutes of subnetting questions for my networking job at cisco tac could you imagine if you don't know subnetting in your exams for uh, juniper cisco uh, comptia most of the vendors you will get around 10 to 15 percent of your marks on your subnetting and if it's adaptive if you keep getting them wrong you're going to get more of those questions and also for technical interviews common network issues as well can you quickly work out with a pen and paper if somebody's in the wrong subnet because this happens a lot even now i've noticed it with server teams who don't understand subnetting so um this will take you from complete beginner all the way up to high level and it's just a few dollars on um, Amazon. So uh, that's it. Um, this is my website, howtonetwork.com. I mentioned at the start, there's some others, the 101labs.net. If you're in the market to do some Cisco or, or any IT certification that we host, we host about 10, 15 different vendors, please come. If you uh, search the website, but then use this special URL, you'll get 30 days access. Just tell us what course you want to start with when you join up and um, you get a dollar for 30 days or 30 days for a dollar 25 courses practice exams live cisco racks career training exam strategy support so thanks for listening all the book links are at the bottom please hit subscribe and the bell and i'll see you on the next video